Hello guys welcome to my new video. 2024 Ford Mustang Review Bob Hernandez The arrival of a new Mustang signals a new era for American pony car performance. The 2024 Mustang gets new engines, updated looks, and a big injection of technology. Still offered as a coupe and convertible. The 2024 Mustang uses the S650 chassis code, the last one was internally called the S550. Competition includes gas-powered rear-drive sports cars like the Dodge Challenger and Toyota GR Supra. Want to learn about the all-electric Mustang Mach-E? Check out its Spires Guide page here. Collapse all Chevron. What's new Chevron new 5.0 liter Coyote V8 and 2.3 liter EcoBoost turbocharged inline 4 power trains new dark horse model with 500 horsepower and an exclusive new badge exterior styling updates including revised headlight and taillight designs, hexagonal grille, air ducts, diffuser, and more vapor blue and yellow splash exterior paint colors available bronze design series appearance package electronic drift brake with available performance pack available 12.4 inch digital gauge cluster with updated graphics available 13.2 inch infotainment screen flat bottom steering wheel overhead USB ports for dash cameras remote rever and key fob engine revving function what we think Chevron don't write off the S650 generation Mustang. Just because it rides on an updated version of the previous model's S550 platform doesn't mean Ford hasn't done serious work to modernize its pony car. In our first driver review of the 2024 Ford Mustang EcoBoost, we were impressed with the base engine's output coupes equipped with the entry-level powertrain could likely beat any pre-2010 Mustang GT off the line. But the 10-speed automatic is prone to upshifting early and downshifting late, often feeling a step behind the driver. Steering, Ride and handling are markedly improved over the previous generation as well. Driving enthusiasts will want to equip the performance package, which adds steering wheel paddles for manual shifting, beefier brakes, a toss and limited slip differential, revised spring rates, 19-inch wheels with summer tires, and an electronic drift brake. However, the Mustang convertible doesn't have the solidity of its hardtop counterparts, even if it does provide inimitable fun in the sun. When we sampled the new Mustang GT, we were impressed with its poise around Canyon Roads, although our first test of the 2024 GT manual with the performance package illustrated that, while the latest version is excellent, it's not necessarily a better performer than past iterations. Steering feels detached, and too many functions are funneled through the car's new central touch screen. That said, we appreciate that the GT's button down, controllable nature, and howling V8 powertrain. It's a good time, consistent with Mustang formulas of the past. At the top of the range, for now, is the Dark Horse which transforms the Mustang into a world-class sports car. Our testing reveals gobsmacking acceleration, braking, and handling performance, yet the dark horse is just as happy to cruise around town as it is to devour racetrack corners. Yet just like every other 2024 Mustang, its interior materials and construction are unimpressive, if still livable. That could be a worthwhile trade-off for the approachable, attainable driving thrills the new generation Mustang delivers. New Mustang engine options Chevron both the 5.0-litre naturally aspirated V8 and 2.3-litre turbocharged inline 4 are new and not the same engines we got last year. The 2024 Mustang's Coyote V8 gets a redesigned dual air intake box and dual throttle body to help it breathe better. 
The final result is an engine that churns out 486 horsepower and 418 pounds to feet of torque in both GT coupe and convertible forms, regardless of whether you choose the automatic or manual transmission. Without the optional active exhaust system, these power figures drop slightly to 480 horsepower and 415 pounds to feet. Either way, it's a considerable bump from the 2022 model, which made 450 horsepower and 420 pounds to feet of torque. But the real powerhouse is the Mustang Dark Horse, which pumps out 500 horsepower from its 5.0 liter naturally aspirated V8. Torque remains at 418 pounds to feet. This output achieved on both the manual and automatic variants, makes it the most powerful production Mustang 5.0 in history. On this model, Ford used forged piston connecting rods, which were first seen on the Shelby GT500. Although the 2.3-liter EcoBoost four-cylinder is new, power figures don't change dramatically. For 2024, the engine delivers 315 horsepower and 350 pounds to feet of torque, compared to the previous Mustang EcoBoost that delivered 310 to 330 horsepower and 350 pounds to feet. The supercharged 5.2-liter V8 that came in the 2023 GT500 is no longer an option. But a flagship performance model is an almost certainty down the line. Transmissions include a 10-speed automatic and 6-speed manual, with standard rev matching on the GT model. The GT can be aired with the automatic or manual, but EcoBoost Mustangs are available only with the automatic. All gas-powered Mustangs still come with rear-wheel drive. 2024 Ford Mustang 0 to 60 miles per hour times Chevron we've tested the entire 2024 Ford Mustang range and compiled the pony cars performance data here the results were nothing short of impressive in our testing a Ford Mustang equipped with the base EcoBoost four-cylinder engine the 10-speed automatic transmission and the high performance package sprinted from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.9 seconds. A Mustang GT coupe with a 6 speed manual transmission and the performance package shot from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.3 seconds. In an automatic equipped Mustang GT convertible, acceleration fell to just 3.9 seconds. At the top of the range, the 2024 Mustang Dark Horse sprints from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds with the manual transmission and 3.7 seconds with the automatic. Get sideways with the Performance Pax Electronic Drift Brake Chevron bundled with the 2024 Mustang's optional Performance Pack suite of track focused upgrades is what Ford called the segment's first electronic drift brake. Dubbed the Performance Electronic Parking Brake, it comes standard with the package and adds what looks like a stubby hand brake lever to the driver side of the center console. It works like a traditional hand brake, by locking the rears to get them sliding, but apparently employs modern electronic hardware to actuate the brake. We'll have to try one of those out. A front strut tower brace and torque sensing limited slip differential are additionally standard with the performance pack. It can also be optioned with an active suspension, wider rear wheels and tires larger front and rear Brembo brake rotors, an active exhaust, and Recaro front seats. The performance pack for the 2024 Mustang GT further adds brake ducts and an auxiliary engine oil cooler for improved cooling. Mustang Dark Horse, it's more than a power upgrade Chevron when you want the best Ford can engineer, 
You want the 2024 Mustang Dark Horse. Like other 2024 Mustang V8s, the Dark Horse models use a 5.0 liter V8, but here it makes an impressive 500 horsepower. There's far more to this flagship model's performance than just power, however, as we discovered in our first drive. You can't add more power without a corresponding upgrade in stopping power, and the Mustang Dark Horse delivers there, to its 60 to 0 miles per hour stopping distance rivals legitimate supercars. Other standard performance goodies include Magni Ride Shocks, a Torsen Rear Differential, and Pirelli P0PZ4 tires. When equipped with a handling package, the 2024 Mustang Dark Horse is the most capable production Mustang ever, Ford says. Get that package and you can expect improved aerodynamics thanks in part to a rear wing with an integrated gurney flap. Also part of the package, more aggressive Pirelli Trofeo tires and stiffer springs join with larger front and rear anti-roll bars to make sure this Mustang can handle anything you throw its way. What transmission does the Mustang Dark Horse offer? Chevron Although traditional enthusiasts might prefer manual transmissions, plenty more buyers will want to experience the 2024 Mustang Dark Horse with the convenience of an automatic transmission. So Ford obliges, offering both. A Trimex 6-speed manual, with a 3D printed titanium shift ball, is standard, but a 10-speed automatic with paddle shifters is available. Dark Horse Design versus Other Mustangs Chevron So how can you distinguish the 2024 Mustang Dark Horse from lesser variants? Beyond the exclusive color shifting blue ember paint option, a number of visual changes set it apart. These start with trapezoidal nostrils, as we've seen on performance Mustangs in the past. A full body kit adds what Ford calls high gloss fangs, and there's a fixed rear wing and diffuser in back. The best part to besides the way that 500 horsepower V8 sounds, we hope he might be the dark and quad exhaust tips. Okay, that's not the best part. Mustang enthusiasts might appreciate the fact that the Dark Horse model gets unique badges showing a front-facing horse that looks like it's been sent directly from hell. The regular Mustang badge shows a horse from the side, badges inside and out call out the Dark Horse model, and you'll even find some recognition of that model in the infotainment system and digital gauge cluster, too. What are the Dark Horse S and R? Chevron Ford wants the Dark Horse name to have real performance credibility, and what better way than to offer a couple race-ready versions. The track-only Dark Horse S and Dark Horse R models are among the six racing Mustangs Ford is preparing. The main difference between the models is in focus. The Mustang Dark Horse S is for weekend track days, and the Dark Horse R is the harder core model. The Dark Horse S has a FIA certified safety cage, a race seat, and all extraneous street equipment removed. If you want to take a friend to the track or give lessons, the Dark Horse S does offer an optional passenger seat. The Dark Horse R adds serialization so it's approved to go racing, a fuel cell for a longer range, upgraded wheels, and more. And for 2025, the $300,000 Mustang GTD Chevron Ford will one-up the dark horse with the 2025 Mustang GTD, a street legal homologation special. Only 2,000 will be built, and its aim is to beat European thoroughbred sports cars from Porsche, Mercedes OMG, and Aston Martin at Lamans and on the road. Named for the IMSA GT Daytona competition class, the GTD is stripped down like a project car. 
it boasts an 800 horsepower plus 5.2 liters supercharged V8 with a dry sump oil system and 8 speed dual clutch rear transaxle gearbox shifted with paddle shifters. A titanium exhaust, adaptive suspension, race compound tires, and wide body aero with a rear drag reduction system are also standard. Ford wants to be able to do the now one quarter burgering Nordschleife in under 7 minutes with this thing, and it'll probably do it. But if you want one, it won't come cheap it'll sticker for at least $300,000. Shelby? Eventually Chevron performance enthusiasts can delight in the spread of speedy Mustang variants Ford's already announced. But this chapter of the Mustang story is just getting started and there's bound to be more on the way. In particular, at least one Shelby model should arise, as past examples like the GT350 and GT500 have been some of the greatest Mustangs ever. We'll likely have to wait a few years to see how Ford and Shelby come together. But we've already imagined what the 2026 Shelby GT500 could look like. Safety features Chevron Ford Go Pilot 360 Active Driver Assist features are included with every 2024 Mustang, and adaptive cruise control is now standard across the lineup. Lane Keeping Systems, Reverse Automatic Emergency Braking and traffic sign recognition are also standard. Safety ratings aren't out yet for the new Mustang but the last one did well in the testing, where it earned the administration's highest award, a 5-star overall safety rating. That Mustang also received mostly good scores from the is and crashworthiness evaluations. Technology Chevron Ford touts the new Mustang's completely redesigned, driver-centric cockpit, which boasts an optional customizable digital gauge cluster screen with updated graphics that's 0.4 inches larger than the previous models. There's also an available touch screen that's more than 5 inches bigger than the outgoing upgrade screen, and when purchased together the two displays sit in a housing that's angled toward the driver. Ambient interior lighting, new overhead USB port, for Mustangs with a fixed roof, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, LED headlights, and animated exterior welcome lighting with linked interior splash screens are all offered on the new Mustang. Convertibles come with one-touch roof activation, and technology like a wireless charging pad and 12-speaker BO sound system is also available. How much does the 2024 Mustang cost? Chevron to get your hands on a new 2024 Mustang, you'll need at least around $33,000. Step up from an EcoBoost Mustang to a GT, and prices start around $44,000. Dark Horse Mustangs start at a little more than $60,000. Recommended trim chevron between EcoBoost, GT, and Dark Horse, every staffer at Motor Trend has their preferences. Here's how we'd spec the 2024 Mustang. Thanks for watching my video please subscribe my channel and like my video.